Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my quick fix for vocal recording latency in BandLab. If you're using an Android phone, you could try using the latency setup on the settings screen. And you can click on my link to my video on how to do that at the end of this video. But if you're still having problems with latency with your vocal recording, then here is my top vocal recording synchronization tip. For this trick to work, the metronome sound must be loud enough for the microphone to pick it up. So tap on the settings icon. Then drag the dot on the line below the words metronome volume to the right to turn up the volume of the metronome. Also, tap on the toggle to the right of the words snap to grid if the toggle is white, so it turns blue and snap is turned on. Then tap on the wave icon. Press on the screen and drag the white vertical track position marker line to the first slightly longer vertical line on the ruler. This line marks the beginning of the second beat. Now tap on the plus icon and tap on voice audio. Tap on the metronome icon to turn on the metronome. Tap on the mixer settings icon and tap on the S icon to solo the track. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. Now place your microphone and headphones close together so the microphone can pick up the metronome sound from the headphones. Then tap on the record icon, record the metronome for three to four metronome bleeps. Then tap on the stop icon. Now tap on the metronome icon to turn off the metronome. Now tap on the mixer settings icon. Tap on S to unsolo the track. Then tap on M to mute the track. Now tap on the mixer settings icon again. Then tap on the X icon. Press on the screen and drag the white vertical track position marker line to the beginning of the metronome recording. Now tap on the plus icon and tap on voice audio. Now record your vocals. Then tap on the X icon. Tap on the mixer settings icon. Tap on the M icon to unmute the metronome recording. Tap on the S icon to solo the metronome recording. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again. On the track mixer screen, place your thumb and forefinger on the screen. Then move your finger and thumb apart in a pinch out movement to zoom in on the metronome recording. You should see three or four blips on the metronome recording. Press on the screen and drag the screen so the white vertical track position marker line 
is on the nearest slightly longer vertical line on the ruler above the second blip. Now tap on the settings icon. Tap on the toggle to the right of the words snap to grid, so the toggle turns white and snap is turned off. Then tap on the wave icon. Now tap on the metronome recording and drag it left or right until the second blip lines up with the white vertical track position marker line. The line should line up with the highest point of the blip. Now tap on the metronome icon so it is turned on again. Press on the screen and drag the track position marker line back to the beginning of the metronome recording. And now, tap on the play icon. Both the recorded blip and the metronome bleep should now sound at the same time. Tap on the mixer settings icon. Tap on the S icon to unsolo the metronome recording. Then tap on the M icon to mute the metronome recording. And tap on the mixer settings icon again. Now tap on the metronome icon to turn off the metronome. Then tap on the vocal recording and drag it left or right so the beginning of the vocal recording is lined up with the beginning of the metronome recording. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.